So I was looking at the fucking um, the odds for Vegas, you know, on this fight. And um, I believe when they first came out, it was like minus 357 for Whaley. And I'm like, wait a minute, isn't her nickname the Magnum? It's like, ooh, ooh, is Vegas trying to troll Carla Sparza? What the fuck is going on? So I just thought that was interesting. But last time I checked, I think it was minus 385 in favor of Whaley. Which, to be honest with you, as, as much as I'm a fan of Wei Lee or fighting style and all that, that's way too fucking high. Way too fucking high for Carla Sparza. It's like the UFC, like, I don't give a fuck that you are, you know, two-time champion and, and the first one to ever win this shit. We don't like your ass. We don't fucking fuck with you or, you know, the horse you rode in this bitch on. Know what I'm saying? So, that's just strange. That is a very fucking strange that the UFC and Vegas and the whole world look may, maybe this is, is, is maybe this is Carla Sparza's fault to some degree As a matter of fact I, I think it is but it is a little cruel I, I have to fucking admit it that uh it's kind of cruel it's kind of cruel to treat Carla Sparza like this I mean come on the UFC the UFC channel on YouTube uploaded the, this piece of shit fight. I mean, I think they, they uploaded uh, Whaley's recent fight against Bojangle check. And then they uploaded this for Carla. Like, yeah, it's a championship fight. It's a victory. Uh, shout out to um, WMMA Addict wow, who, who brought this to my attention. He has a video on this. Um, yeah, th th this is pretty low. This is pretty fucking low from Dana and company. Like... Why would you upload this knowing everybody hates this damn fight? I just don't fucking get it. But, you know, clearly they want everybody to hate this motherfucker. And people don't like Carla. So I don't know, man. I just don't know why they would do this shit if they really gave two shits about Carla as a professional. Like, my goodness. My fucking goodness. But basically, they just, they, they want her to go in there and, and fucking... Um, Get finished. They want her to get finished, and so they can go home after they put the Whaley, uh, put the belt back around uh, Whaley Jung's belt waist. Any damn way. Um, yeah. So apparently Carla has already lost this fight in the eyes of the you know people, but I, I don't think it's fair. I think this is going to be a competitive fight. I do. I do. I, I think. I don't think Whaley is going to go in there and immediately go in there and crush. Carla Spars, okay? All you fucking Whaley weirdos need to calm the fuck down, okay? All right? If, if, if Rose could get in there and wrestle her a bit, then... I mean, I know, I know Styles make fights, but come on. It, 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 it's not like fighting a broke-down version of uh, Bojangle Check, which, to be honest, be fair, Whaley was the one that broke down that last little bit of what was left of uh, Joanna. And that last fight, but no, she's just not about to go in there and swell up Carla Sparza's fucking head. First, for, first of all, Carla already has a swollen up head, so, so I, I think she's gonna be able to handle a couple of shots early at least. But, but I just I think it's disrespect. Listen, I, I picked against Carla one time, okay, several times I have, and my most recent one was very embarrassing. I mean, like, like fuck. She beat the fuck out of Jan. I mean, she left Jan. Jan looked like somebody just drew, a drive-by hitter, just in the form of punches. Know what I'm talking about? So I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair to, you know what I'm saying? 